Okay, uh, my name is Raymond Marua. I'm a U.S. Army veteran of the Iraq War, uh, and I'm here at CMC West, and I'm a dog handler of New Life Canine. Um, I'm joining the program because I want to be able to give back to the community, give back to society. Um, I'm also a veteran, so I want to give back to my fellow veterans, uh, help combat the suicide rate, and just try to be useful, try to be positive and part of the solution again. Uh, I, I think I learned more from Josie than I taught her, but I taught her since we we switched over to bond base. I taught her how to how to think, how to use more cognitive skills, how to anticipate my needs to be more of a team, a cohesive unit. So she was able to pick up on when I needed help, where I needed help. Uh, so I think the most important thing is I taught her how to use her skills that she already had and possess in everyday life as a service dog. I hope that Josie will give Mario the same experience that she gave me. Uh, being a combat veteran, I came back home feeling kind of uh, isolated and robotic. And speaking with, with her recipient, I kind of get a feeling we have similar uh, issues. And I hope that she helps him open up the way that she helped me open up. And that she also helps him get back in touch with his humanity the way that she helped me get back in touch with mine. Uh, yes, uh, since, since joining the New Life Canine, Prior, prior to coming to CMC West and joining the program, it's really been a, a, thi a very thick line between inmates and staff, and now it's more a blurred line because you're interacting with staff on a daily basis, and not just, the interaction is, is positive, they're, they're supportive of what you're doing, and everybody's on the same page, the same team. I think donors should support New Life Canines, one, because it's a patriotic thing to do. We have a lot of veterans out there in need, and these, um, when I came home, I handled my PTSD with alcohol abuse. And had, I, had there been service dogs available for me when I came home, uh, it would have been more helpful than, than what I'm facing now. So I believe that it's a great deterrence and preemptive to help our veterans who are coming back home. Uh, teaching Josie has helped me. It's helped me uh, be more understanding with who I am. Uh, understand that that my failures don't determine who I am as a person. It's given me a chance to, to, to come out of a shell and to be someone who I used to be before I went to war. Um, the, since teaching Josie, my changes that I've noticed is my personal relationships have been, have been a whole lot better. Uh, my PTSD, I, I'm able to cope with it better now. I, I still have it, but I'm able to cope easier uh, through Josie, teaching Josie help, it helped me how to handle it daily. So teaching her and being part of it with her, team with her, it helped me just be a, more of a whole again. I'm hoping that the outside community, uh, regardless of my flaws and failures, I'm hoping that they see that that I am seeking, I don't think redemption is the word, but I want, I want them to know that I'm trying to give back, that I'm trying to, to do good and make, and make good on, on my time and to, and to contribute once again.